Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I've got a lot of requests both on YouTube and on Instagram about my top tabs that I use in my planner. And I just thought it would be great to go over it in a video, start to finish everything about them, just like a deep dive into my tabs. So hopefully I can answer a majority of the questions that people have for me on a regular basis. So that said, let's start with what the top tabs are in my planner. They are Happy Planner dashboards. So here's some examples. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. So here are some examples of dashboards that I use for my top tabs. I basically pick these up on clearance and then I do a hack to them to make them clear for the most part. Some of them I kept as they are because they were see-through enough or the design doesn't hinder the viewing of the spread, but basically I turned most of the tabs that I have there into clear tabs so that I could use them and just see the whole spread at once. I really hate being blocked for the most part if I have a spread and seeing you know only a portion of the spread. So there is a video that I did called Dashboard Hack and shows how to do this to this, clear dashboards to, from painted ones. Pretty sure that these two would be no, no problem. I can feel the paint on these guys. So just an FYI, some things that I found. I know that this would come off, including the foil. The foil will come off. If you can see, I don't know if this is, you can kind of see this one's a little bit scratched up because this was one of the first ones I did and my technique wasn't that good. So the scratching is a little bit of that, but there's also, the foil that they did really imprinted really harshly on the dashboards a bit. So some of the, the foil, just keep in mind that if the foil is stamped too hard, that you might get some damage or, you know, it won't be, won't be completely clean, I guess is the right way I want to say it. So just an FYI on that. But these dashboards, I you know, I, don't, I can't feel any imprinting from the foil, so I think they would come off really easily. Even a fully painted one, which I show in the video, no big deal. These two are newer from the Happy Planner, and so if you are picking up the newer ones, you might want to start with a single pack and just try it, because the foil seems to be on the front of this, but the back is where the actual color seems to be. So I'm not sure if this is actual blue plastic with foil stamped on top as well as this one like pink or if this is actually like imprinted. I'm not real sure on these. So I just wanted to bring that up because I noticed there was a bit of a change to how the Happy Planner was doing some of the dashboards. So I wanted you guys to be aware before you just bought up a whole bunch and then the hack didn't work. Basically anything that's painted onto a clear plastic will come off with the hack. So check out that video. It'll be linked in the description below and I'll also link it in this video above in case you just wanna click and, and jump to that. So these are what I'm currently using and I have a classic size Happy Planner. So these are classic size dashboards. They cover about, um, I would say three fourths, two thirds or three fourths of the page. And it has three tab options. So there's like a front, middle and back. Okay, so that's that. If you don't want to go that route and you want to start with your own, you know, dashboard, you really want to customize it, you can make your own using another simple kind of DIY solution. These are dollar store cutting mats. So they're like made for cutting food on. You get two in a pack for a dollar and you can easily just cut them down to whatever sizes that you want, add the tabs that you want. Another video I did a while back showing how to do it, so I will link that as well below in case you want to go this route instead. Totally customize it, and you can kind of see the process. A couple of options there. You could also buy clear dashboards from you know multiple people, mostly on Etsy. I've seen them available, but they're kind of expensive, and I like this 
hack because you can usually get the dashboards on sale or on clearance for like two or three bucks and then you get three at a time and then do the hack. So it's a lot more cost effective, especially when you're doing a lot like I do. But yeah, so that's it. So those are the dashboards that I start with. So I wanted to talk about that. I'm going to go ahead and flip to a couple of the ones that I have in here. So we're going to start with my goals section. And I actually recently took out a few pages because I don't know if you can tell, but my planner is chunky. I know it's kind of hard to see because I didn't, I kept it so that the focus doesn't go in and out because my camera just takes forever to do that. So yeah, sorry, I can't really bring it up too close for you guys to see, but I'll try to try to give you an idea. But anyway, so it's real chunky right now. And so I took out a few pages, but the first tab I have in here is my goals tab. And this is a full, full page tab that the Happy Planner made. I picked up a couple of these. I think this might be the wrong, wrong one that I recently just did so that I could put the goals on here. So I've got that. And I also have another one at the very back for my notes. And this one was a Planner Babe tab. It's a little bit purple in tint, a little bit from the hack. And again, this kind of has that like stamping thing because it said Planner Babe all over this in foil. But still works fine for me. I just really like being able to see through the tabs. So I've got two full page ones, which I use to kind of bookend my planner. Before I go any further about that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about labeling. So when I originally started using my tabs, I used this labeler here, the Dynamo or Dymo Letra tag, I guess is what it's called. But basically it's a like $20 little black and white printer and you don't have a lot of selection as far as fonts or anything like that. It's basically one type of font in different sizes and then just basic alpha characters. So kind of basic, but I used it to make this guy here so you can see it. Just a clear one and pretty simple, but you can get clear tape for it. This one currently has white in there, but you can get clear tape for it. So for the ones I used this on, I did clear, but I prefer white in my planner and I'll kind of talk about that a little bit as we go. So this is what I did in the beginning. And so I had them all labeled pretty much in the same manner. And I just printed these out, super simple. Then I would take a highlighter and I did a little bit of color coding before I actually highlighted the entire text of each tab. Now I'm just doing a simple underline. I just want a color cue to know which section I'm in. So that is basically the reasoning behind the highlighting, just to kind of color code each section since I have five plus sections in here. Okay, so that is what I used to do. I only recently just updated these guys with my newer faux memo printer. And I got this guy not too long ago and have been using it for my stat stickers in my health planner. And when I decided that I needed to update my tabs because they were getting all kind of, you know, mangled and, and junky, I went ahead and created one on my computer to print here on the faux memo printer. So let me pull out that so you guys can see. This is kind of the leftovers of what I printed these guys on. But basically I came up with just a layout so that I could put them back to front and not have to cut each one in between. So I could do three individual labels here on each section and then uh, just cut them out with my precision cutter I used this guy. And basically just cut them in straight lines and then would take them off and bend them over the, let me see, let's do one for you guys. So I take it, I'd print it, bend it over, kind of line it up in the middle 
and then label it like that. So that way I didn't have to do it front and back and then I could easily just, you know, work with it from there and we're ready to go. And it kind of has a little bit of a cleaner look. So that's what I did this time around. And I used a font from my computer so I could have limitless fonts and sizes and um, I really liked that. So I have a little file all set up and then I just printed it on the white label paper that I have for this printer. If you are interested in this, uh, this is a very versatile printer. It can print all kinds of custom stickers. Like I said, I use it mainly for my stat stickers, but I've made custom stickers here on my channel. There's a lot of possibilities with this guy if you're looking for something to label your printer or label your dashboards and you want some other options. It's a thermal printer, so you don't have to buy ink. It's just the paper once you have the printer. And really simple, easy, small, handy, Bluetooth right from your phone. So this is great. I will link it below in the description as well if you are interested in that as well as this guy in case you want this one a little bit cheaper and, you know, a little bit more straightforward as far as just label and go. So both of those will be down below. I'll also link the video where I go over this printer in depth and kind of show you how it works and how to make custom stickers with it. Okay, so there's that. Back to my current setup. Like I said, I have two full page dashboards in here that I picked up on clearance or got for free. And those are my bookend ones because they don't fit in my normal dated sections. So goals and notes. The beginning of my, yeah, the beginning of my sections begins with my face. And I'm going to go ahead and jump forward to that. This is my Faith Monthly Dashboard, and right now I'm using a really old one that is a much thicker dashboard um, that came in the Gold Dashboard Pack. That one will be available down below. I haven't done anything to it, it just got a simple gold dot on it. I thought, you know, that was good enough. I can see through it pretty easily. So this is my monthly dashboards, and I put my monthlies all in the middle. That just makes it easier for me to find the type of spread I'm looking for just by feel. My A-type personality really likes that. It's like I can don't have to look. I can like say, okay, here we are, one, two, three, four, you know, and I can go to the monthly for whatever this one is, or you know what I mean, like da uh, daily or whatever section I'm in. So I am purposefully using certain tabs in certain areas. Monthlies are in the middle. Now, normally I work kind of like inside to outside, but because of the structure of the faith setup, I have the next page in the inside corner, which is the overview. Everything else, that extra thing would be on the first tab of the spread, which I'll explain in a minute. So I have my faith monthly and then I have my faith overview, which is just a bookmark that I'm using right now. Again, I used the hack on this. It was not clear to begin with, and I probably would have changed it over for one that was full size, like, you know, one of these guys. However, I didn't have any more with the inside tab. And like I said, I really wanted a specific type of thing to be on the inside tab. So since I didn't have it and I had some bookmarks that I wasn't using, I decided to use that instead. And it works just the same. This again is, normally this would be in the beginning. This is not, so it's a little bit out of place for the, the way that this is set up. But I'm going to fix that for next year, which we'll talk about in the near future. I have some ideas for my planner setup and I'm getting that all formulated. So it's coming, you guys, if you're waiting for that, that video. I'm really working through things. I, I like to do some Black Friday shopping and, you know, just kind of figure out everything that I'm going to need. So just FYI, that's coming if you're wondering. Okay, so again, Faith Monthly, Faith Overview, that one has a bookmark. And then I have my faith daily, oops, which 
would normally be like this. I had moved it to take a picture, so sorry. So a couple of things that you might have just noticed. One, I moved the page instead of moving the dashboard. I find that to be much simpler if you are pushing your dashboards to the next week or like this, the next section, and it's just the following section. It's a lot easier just to push the pages in and out than it is the dashboards. I tend to do that more. So there's a little tip to moving the pages versus the dashboards because sometimes they can be kind of, you know, hard and loud and thick. And um, I just prefer to move the pages. They move in and out much easier. Here you can see the three tabs that I use per section. So I always have like a daily or weekly section, which is like the overview section. I have some special tab that's in the inside for each section. And then I have the monthly in the middle. So monthly or weekly for the most part or daily because faith is weird. And then the specialness tab is what I'll call it for the very first tab. And that usually leads off each section. So again, another clear full-size dashboard that I hacked here, and I'm using a orange color for this section. That's the faith, and then we will move on to the daily section. This is where I put my daily schedule. So it starts, I move these guys over, first of all. I move these out of the goal section into the beginning of my daily so I would be more likely to reference them each day and then I've actually put the tab in the middle of my weekly master schedule so that I can easily check what I should be doing throughout the day where I'm at you know if I'm supposed to be filming right now or if it's you know workout time or what have you so I have that in the very beginning and I just put it between this spread so I could easily reference it Again, first tab, so this is like the special section of my daily section. In case I haven't mentioned this before, each section is a separate planner. So I have five, roughly five planners in here as well as extras. The faith planner is one planner and I keep one month at a time in my, my catch-all planner and then I I do the same all the way throughout the rest of my planner. So it's like a month of each planner in this one planner, and I work through this every day. So this is the daily section, and again, schedule. And then I move into my monthly, which is currently October. And then, again, another hacked dashboard, super clear. And again, I like to see the whole spread. So this goes a little bit more in the methodology that I prefer, which is front, middle, back, going across the tabs. So this is the monthly, and this is my monthly spread for my daily planner. And my daily planner is basically where I put all of the things I need to do, events, appointments, more of the main, you know, just like a main standard planner that you would use regularly without all the extras that I'm using in here. This is my main planner. So I have the monthly there in the middle tab and I'm using a kind of a pink tone for this section. And then I have my weekly which is another clear and again I really just like to see the full spread at once so the clear Dashboards really don't block anything. I can see through very easily. And then I also use it to put any notes or stickies that I want to remember for this section on here. I also will use it too if it's like a monthly sticky that I need to remember something for the month or what have you. I'll put it on the dashboards most likely. This one, you can see another clear dashboard and then that's the daily section. Again, a whole nother planner. I use a horizontal planner for this section with a monthly layout. And these are in my shop if you're interested in this planner in particular. So the next planner that I work in is my health planner. And that basically gets kicked off here with my little dashboard, or no, dashboard, um, my little healthy habits pocket folder or pocket page. And then we can jump to our trackers. So 
I have one here for my trackers, but it also, let me see if I can cover it so that you guys don't see all of my weight gain. This is where I keep my health trackers. So this is where I track like my measurements and my weight for the entire year. I have a setup on this insert if you're curious. And I put the tracker dashboard here because I, I need to remember every week to write in my, my new weight. I'm using a dashboard here that I did not hack. Um, again, it's clear so that it helps and it's got some color to it. So I figured I would just leave it as is because it's not blocking a spread. It's just more of an insert type situation and the colors work really well with the health planner. So that is my health tracker dashboard and I stick it to in between here so that I can easily reference this weekly. So I have that and then my next dashboard in this section is my month and here I basically put it on my monthly I do have it kind of um, I have it clear hash I have it hacked as well so I can easily look at the full spread at once same thing with the sticky notes so just same methodology nothing really different here I've got my front section, my special section, my monthly, and then my week. All clear hacked dashboards. So really simple. I'm using like a light purple. If you can't see it, it's pretty light and faded, but that's there. And so you can see also too, I decided to put the section in the front of each tab. And then I also put in what what it is behind it. So all the health start with health, all the social start with social, daily, faith. It just makes it simple and easy. And again, months are always in the middle, weeks are on the end, and then the specialness in the, in the front. So there's that. And then I have another one for social growth that is basically another dashboard, or not a dashboard, a bookmark that I hacked to make it clear. And I've been using that because I kind of ran out of front tab dashboards that I could use here. So I have that guy. Then I have my social month, which I think is safe to show you. This is a social media planner. My health planner is also from my Etsy shop. It's a health, it's called a health layout and I have it in multiple sizes. The social media planner is from the happy planner and it is the home body planner dashboard layout. So social growth, that's my special section in the front and I'm using a perpetual calendar here for that. So just that front calendar that is included with the planner. And then I have my social growth section, which is just a monthly spread. Again, I have to see the, the full thing. So I've hacked the dashboard and then I have a social week. This guy, because it's a dashboard layout, it's not as important to me to see the full spread at once. So I'm using this guy. It's got some florals and stuff that I think tied to the theme. And I also tried to hack it though. I did try on this guy. And for some reason, I don't know how they printed this one on there, but it, it doesn't come off with the hack. So again, got to test the dashboards. I think it's just not... I don't know, it might have been burned into it or something instead of painted or use, you know, paint. So some of the newer dashboards, I'm a little unsure of how they work. But this one came in a bullet journal stencil pack. And so there were two stencils and then this one dashboard. So I'm just using it here. And I thought it worked well with this theme. There's that, the social week. I don't really show these because obviously it's a little bit more sensitive, but if you hang on a second, I will put in, I don't have anything there, yeah, to hide. Okay, so I have my Etsy sales, which I'm using a perpetual calendar for that, and I'm also just using this dashboard, which I didn't feel the need to, I didn't feel the need to do anything with because I don't need to see a full spread, I just need to go to the section and Put that in. So I use that to divide out my Etsy daily sales and I put that in there. And I, I like this spread or this dashboard. Even though it's not clear, 
the colors really spoke to me. Watercolor I love and rainbows I love. And it's semi-clear. And it was a, a front tab, so it all worked out. So this is the last part of my planner. I have that, and then I have my budget month, which I don't think I've set up my budget yet. I haven't. Let me move some stuff off. I have a bunch of stickies on there with, you know, bills and things. So I'll show you that. Okay. There's that. And then I have my budget month. So I'll put this way. And I haven't set it up November yet. I've already moved out October. And that's next on my list. And I'm using actually a full page, um, full page dashboard here as well. It used to have, I think, Hello Beautiful here, which I was going to keep. But then I decided I was going to try the hack and I got rid of that, but I kept the plus signs. I don't know why. I might clean this up later. I haven't decided. Kind of like the plus signs because I felt like it was, you know, like plus and money kind of went together. But yeah, so I'm using that. It's on the middle tab and it aligns with the other one. So it doesn't really matter that it's a full page. It still aligns. And I figured that this was a great place to put it because of the plus signs and because the section's a little bit different because I don't have a weekly section for this. It's just the Etsy sales and my budget here. And then that's it. And this is from the Planner Babe planner that I won in a giveaway. So it's a vertical planner, which I didn't really like, but I did love the styling of it. So I decided to keep it and use it and just use the monthly. So the verticals just are in storage and maybe I'll find a use for them someday in the future. So that's what I'm using here. And then, yeah, see, it's just a vertical and nothing else. But I have this dashboard here. And then that's the end of my like five planner setup, which is bookmarked between these two pocket folders where I put my pen loops. This is kind of a little bit of a setup video as well, where I've got my pen loops and um, pocket folders. But this whole part of my planner is all dated stuff, things that have dated information, weekly, monthly the beginning and the end are more storage and reference type things. So I've already showed you the last one, which is my notes. And then here I have four dividers, which I use to organize storage things in each of these categories that I just want to have on hand or reference when I need it. But that's basically it. And then it goes, like I said, to the notes and notes is just note paper that I have in here in case I need extra paper. So that's a big overview of these dashboards. You could see each one. I hope that cleared up a bunch of questions that people have about this setup that I use. I, like I said, I put buy planners into one and I use those tabs to make that happen so that as I go through my morning, I basically go section by section, tab by tab and just go through and, and check everything off. So it's like monthly, do whatever's on the monthly, check the overview, prayer, writing, daily, write the verse of the day, and then I move on to my daily. Okay, where am I at my schedule? Anything of note on the monthly that I should be aware of? Just go to my week, check what's for today, or put things down that I need to do today. Health tracker. I will check at the very beginning of the uh, week. If not, I skip to the health month, write in what I need to do for my health month, whatever I'm doing. Usually I'm tracking my symptoms for my chronic, chronic diseases, basically. <laughs> so um, write that in and then I'll go to my health week, write what I need to write here for workouts and food. And then I jump to social. I write in my current stats for the the morning of the day I'm in. I'll write those in for YouTube and, and Instagram. Then I will check my social month to see what I'm supposed to be posting. And then I will go into my social week and check things off as I go. Write in my Etsy sales and then do my budget 
check in just to see if any bills have been paid. And then that's my whole system for the morning. And I use the dashboards basically just to navigate straight to what I need to do, no fluff, and get things done pretty efficiently. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to explain anything that you didn't find clear in this video. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. Bye.